oh, and I just started being and living and wanting love, right? And being love. And you're recording me. I am. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it's flashing. Oh, does that mean? Is it recording? Oh, you don't have to record me. No, tell me about your trip. You just came back from mission and you, you love and you're a whole new woman. So I started just to, to release and I just was laying there and realizing and praying that I wanted to be healed of my pain and I wanted to be free. And when he was talking about the cages or when I, he was talking to me about the spirit not holding on to pain and it doesn't know pain. And it's the ego that wants to hold on to pain because it wants, you know, and it's the ego that holds us back in fear and judgment. And it's our egos that that suffocate us and don't allow us to breathe and live and be free and, and to feel love. Because so how do you it, get over your ego? How are you? So what the are you ego gonna... is, is, be, is recognizing the ego is there and sending love to the ego. And, and the tears were good, but when I allowed myself to go into the tears and I just kept going for the sake of crying and crying and crying, it was like my ego was winning and my ego was going, yeah, okay, that's right. You know, stay down. You know, don't, you're not th this, this love thing, this light thing. No, forget it. You stay down, you stay down. And then I was like, okay, I'm tired of crying. I've been crying and crying and crying. It's not getting me anywhere. And then when I had that vision of the two cages, when he said that the, the spirit is separate and the spirit doesn't want to have pain, then all of a sudden I was I was up in the in the in the universe and then the and then all of a sudden I said that I me whatever it was I separated and I was two huge cages that you could go in and out of and there's big empty cages and then the, the me was dissolved and then the ego was no longer present and I was free to choose what energy I wanted to come into my cages and what I wanted to be there and what I was wanting to feed myself with and so that was my first night of my my journey and the next day when I started I, it took me three drinks to finally get to the place I needed to so be. So what is it that you're drinking? What ayahuasca. And what is ayahuasca? Ayahuasca is um, uh, an herb from nature that carries light in it that has light particles that connect us and and, and you can see the lights, you see lights everywhere. It's, it's light. It's light being put into us from the universe. And it is light. And it was amazing. Like, it was just phenomenal. When you're, when you're in it, you can see you're moving and you see the tra the tracers of, of, you see the rainbows coming off of you. There's rainbows everywhere. Everything is rainbows. And then all of a sudden, the wall isn't, the, everything is the same. Everything is 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 the same. We're all, we were all the same. Like the plastic bag melded into into the sameness, and everywhere I looked, it was all the same particles. But we're always trying to learn, right? That everything is the same. I saw it. Everything is the same. Everything was light, and everything was particles of light and rainbows everywhere. Geometric shapes of rainbows flowing and moving and twisting and and alive and just you know and. So I went into my into my journey to try and start healing myself and I started trying to get the pain out and I was trying to release it and get it out, get it out, I don't want it and I was getting it off of me and I was cleansing and trying to, to release it and then I started crying and crying and then I was pushing it away and no, 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 I don't want you anymore, I want you out, I want you out and then I realized, no, Jillian, you need to love it. This is the pain that has taught you. This is the pain that has brought you to where you are and it, it has protected you and shielded you and, and kept you, uh, well, maybe not protected me at that point. Mm -hmm. what, it, what, what it was, was I started releasing, 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 and then I would giggle and be happy and then, and then I was like, there's something still in there. And it was this black, dark thing that I wanted it out. And it wasn't leaving and, and, and it wasn't going anywhere and it was still there. And I was like, go, go, I don't want you. And I, I promise I don't want to hold on. And I could still feel I was holding on to it. I was still holding on to my pain. And what was, was your pain? What, what, what? My pain, my grief, my, my history. There is no time. There is no history. There is no, there's only, time is, is just here on earth. This is an experience that maybe happened, but my spirit doesn't feel the pain. It's my ego that wants to hold on to the pain and is suffocating my spirit. And when I saw that vision of the two cages, I, I, I realized that the, the nothingness in the space, between the spaces, and that we make our own reality. 
we choose if we want to be effectuated by the pain and and just like what buddha says is there is you know there is there is suffering in this world if you choose to suffer but if you don't choose you know just in, in terms of, of of being happy or being sad okay be happy be sad but don't be attached let it go let it flow send it love let it be on its way and still keep your 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 ser serenity your sereneness your your love your Operate from a place of love. Fill everything with light and love. Anything that is feeling discomfortable, you feel discomfortable. You fill it with love. Uncomfortable. Same thing. And so, I was going through all of these. I did should wish I would have wrote it down because I think I'm missing a lot, but it'll come back to me. Yeah. This one little bit I was trying to get out and I wanted it out and I kept trying to get, I no, I don't want it, I don't want it. Then I realized, I'm still in battle. I'm saying no, and I'm saying get away, ba ba ba. That means I'm still battling it, and I'm still running from it, and I'm not liking it, and I want it away from me, and it means that I, I I'm putting a negative attachment to it, and 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 it's bad, and no no no, and so pushing away, I'm still in battle. So I said no no no, come back. You're fine if you want to stay, but I'm filling you up with love before you stay. Hey. And so you are welcome to stay with me, but you're going to be filled with love. And I started filling out this this little thing with love, this hard, solid thing that was this ugly hatred, dark mass of, of pain that w wasn't going. I started filling it with love and filling it with love. And it started opening. And then it turned into a little cocoon. And my wish for me to come out of my cocoon and be the butterfly or the pixie or the fairy or, or the bird that I that I am to be free started emerging and she started coming out and she was like hee hee and I was like oh my gosh you know this is scary I don't know I don't know and I'm like okay back back in I'm coming back in and then I was like okay no Jillian go go get them off get the cocoon off and I'm like oh no I love you cocoon and sorry, you protected me. You've allowed me to be in you as my cave, and and I've been preparing for this. And so I love you, cocoon. You you've been there for me. You've you've been my protector. You've surrounded me. So I send you love and I thank you for being my teacher. And and then the little pixie, my little pixie, my little fairy that is me that has been in there waiting to come on out, started coming out. And then I was down in in on the ocean in White Rock sitting you know, up on a tree and I just decided to sit and look. And then I invited Kaylee and I turned Kaylee into a little, a little uh, pixie that just kept, her snout kept coming out, kept coming out like, she's like, I'm here, you know, I'm here. So, and she got to be with me too. And, so, and then Kaylee was with me on many, many parts of the journey. She helped me very, very much in terms of me patting myself and saying, it's okay, love you, it's okay. And I'm like, oh my gosh, all this love I've been, Feeding to tell Kaylee to make sure that she feels good is really what I wanted for myself. Yeah. And now it's just been filling and, you know, trying to make everyone else oh happy over Kaylee. And, totally. and it's what I've been wanting to do for myself and wishing that someone else would. But it was me that I needed to be all of that for myself. And so I decided, so then I started coming out of my, my little cocoon. I'm on the perch and I'm like, oh, you can explore the world now. The world is yours. It's beauty. It's light. It's love. And there was the ocean and the water and the trees and the, and the green and the light everywhere. And I just started flying. And then I was free. And I started laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing because I was free. I finally came out and I filled myself that dark place up with my own love so that I could be loved, so that I can love others and I can heal and heal myself. If I don't heal myself, then the world will still be sick. If people don't heal themselves, then it affects everybody. Everybody is affected by it. Everybody is, is the same. Every, everything is the same. We are all one entity. And so I went going on and I kept going up and down in my laughter and, and then in my tears of, of realization that I kept going back. No, 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 it's too scary. And I kept crawling back in and then coming back out again and going back in. And then I had this realization, oh, I had this love for my mom. And what I started doing was thinking about my mom and, and thinking about how come she hurt me so much? Why couldn't she love me when I was a little girl? Why did she do so many painful things to me? And, and I started going and then sinking back into my ego, my ego being attached to, to the pain and like, you know, like 
uh, feel sorry for me, my pity, my ego. Ego is attachment. Attachment is is pain, which is which is your ball and chain, which doesn't allow you to be free because there's no love there. And so when I went into that, and I and I was realizing that she wasn't there for me, I realized that she needed me to be there for her, and she needed my love, and she needed me to be her mommy, and she needs me to tell her that it's okay. And that she's, you know, she needs love. And that I, that I was realizing, I started laughing because I said, my what I had all my wishes that I wanted, and they all were answered. Every single thing I wished for, I received. Everything, Terry. Every single wish came true for me. And I was wishing I wanted a mom and my sister. I wanted my mom and my sister. And like I am a mom and I am a sister. I don't need it. I already am. <laughs> I am, right? And so then I go like this and I'm like, I gotta write, I am mommy, I am sister. And I go to write it down and I'm watching my hand and I'm writing moon and I'm looking at myself I'm like, I couldn't, I didn't even write mommy and sister. I wrote, I am moon. I am moon, mom, ma menstrual, mantra, uh, mare, mommy, moon, measurement, mm -hmm. menses is uh, moon is the light is moonbeam is love and in, in in Spanish moon moon la moon cha moon something is love mm -hmm. and and it was all you know it's all the same and I was just laughing and laughing because I was like sitting there and my hand was literally like trying to like it was going I was trying to write the the words and it went I am moon and I'm watching my hand write the moon and I'm like that's what I'm trying to write this is just so bizarre and so I had a good chuckle over that and then I just kept going up and down up and down and then I started just feeling my body and feeling that I wanted things to come through and then I started cleansing myself and getting rid of mucus and started How? cleansing, just, just doing it, just doing it, I don't know, I just started cleansing light and breath and putting the light and breath through me and breathing and then and I started feeling some pain in my back and I thought, oh get away, I thought it was something evil, I don't know what it was, I'm like, no, don't get away, it's okay, you're welcome, you're welcome, then I started feeling two things budding at my back and I'm like, I'm growing wings. And I started feeling little nubs in my back like I was growing these wings or something, like virtual wings, I don't know, I was like, okay, I'll go with it, I'll take those wings, I've been wanting wings for a while actually. Yeah. And so I'm just going through all of this and and the, the, just the traveling through the universe and the music bringing you through every single moment. The music is universal, of course, right? And, and the universe does sing. It is music that, you know, we, we've... Ooh, is, a, is a sound that they've recorded from um, Jupiter, I think, or Saturn, or Neptune, or Pluto, or one of those planets. Is, makes That's the vibration. It actually goes and does hue. And so the music started bringing us through journeys and, and I just started, I was dancing and I kept going in and out and doubt, self-doubt and fear and no, you're not good enough and how dare you and, and then just realizing and just starting to send love to everything and everything I sent love to started dissipating and the darkness started going away and I didn't have to be afraid and, and then, you know, I, I had a glimpse outside and I could start seeing, I saw little fairies coming out of the bush and I started seeing just, so, it was just so much that it's not even, it's surreal, but it's real. It's real. It is real. And, and, um, I'm here. Yeah, I'm a healer. And I, I let my pixie come on out. I did, and um, what was my intention when I went? I said I would like to come out of my cocoon and allow my butterfly to come on out and flutter and fly. And that's what happened. And I wanted to resolve my issue with, with work. And it just appeared to me. And I wanted a mom and a sister and understand the pain and heal the pain of, of that. And I realized that it's all perfection and beauty and it was and, and pain is nothing pain this isn't real this, this isn't real the slaughterings and the murders and everything